A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution on the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging men and women out. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was being said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Everyone who believes in the Son has an eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, that the world would be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. Whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very, very simple. We have to come to the light and the light is Christ. And the works that we do illuminate the world. It all reverts back to what I was talking about at the beginning of the week, the whole idea of faith and hope and love and charity, forgiveness, peace, compassion. Those are the works. And those are the works that are done in the light. And you know why? Because that light reflects into the lives of other people. When people see that, it inspires them. When people see that, it lights up their pathway from darkness into light. You know, a lot of people walk a dark path, not in terms of doing evil things, but their faith has grown weak. Their lives have grown burdensome. They grow bitter and angry. They do not see the light in the world. They see only darkness. There are many, many, too many such people. We are children of the light, and the more we reflect the light, the more the world takes on the aura of being saved by Christ. It really is that simple. That gospel is very revelatory. 
and talks about um, you know how important that Jesus, the light of the world, really is. I know that. You know that. In this Easter season, my friends, may the light guide both of us as we walk toward it every single day. Eventually, that light, it, it lights the way to eternal life. But every day, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, weekends, whatever, it lights up enough of the beauty of the world and of people in the world around us that we may take great joy in, in being, being children of God and doing all we can to enlighten others by the faith we love. Take care. I will see you tomorrow. And now, my friends, as we have shared the Word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. My friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says, or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection. <laughs>